Now then, boys, we have a brand new video today, and we are back on Azurite. Well, technically this is the beta, but it still counts. Before we get into this video, giveaway information is down below in the description, and this is the trailer. That's right, boys, one week to the launch of Azurite. I'm going to be showing you everything you can be expected on launch and some more. So when you log into Azurite for the first time, you're going to be greeted with a brand new interface that looks really fucking cool. When you log in, you have to do a tutorial. There's a really unique tutorial that's honestly really fucking cool. I'm not going to show you it because I don't want to spoil it. So I'll just skip to the end. So once you click the start I create from this completed tutorial, you get a nice interface. Now, honestly, this is actually the cleanest interface for character selection I think I've seen. Um, I'm going to be choosing Iron Man just for the temp, like for, for this video. It tells you all the restrictions, everything you can do. You can change your experience. It shows a little chat of like what your chat will look like with the specific icons. It tells you everything about the game mode. Appearance, you can change your appearance to be, you know, whichever you fancy. And then it gives you the summary of everything. Honestly, super fucking clean. Big up my boy Tam. So you've already noticed the big difference. Azurite is on our Saras with full rune light. Like, that's kind of crazy. You just think that Azurite has gone from this to this, which is just so much cleaner. But no matter the changes, we still have the same home, the home we know and love. All right, we are north of home at the Raids Hub. Now, you would notice that this used to be KH1. It's now the Fight Caves, where you can fight Fight Caves and the Inferno. We have an Azurite logo going round, and we have the Raids Portal, which, yes, it does have Smash Raids, which means full Bowser. I am so excited to grind Smash Raids again. No problem. Smash down the last one. Question mark. Oh, question mark. I think I'm either going to take the Smash Pep, or I'm going to take the number one KC at Smash Raids. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why don't we just speed run one for good old time's sake? Kabang. Kabang. Yeah, I'm in God mode. I'm hitting mad hits. I'm just, look, relax, okay? Relax. Kabang. All right, Falcon, mate, your time has come. Oh, he stunned me. Oh, no. Stop stunning me, big man. All right, Bowser. It is time to play the game. Die, Mr. Bowser. He's got soul split, cheating bastard. GG, Bowser. Oh, okay. The loot and it, all the information. Oh, it's so clean. Oh, it's good to be back. There also was bad Babidi's ship and attack on Titan raids. The one thing I'm excited to learn is about all the items in the game. It's been a long time since I've played Azurite, and there's a lot of items that I don't really remember. So I'm excited on launch to get in and learn everything again. But there's so many fucking items! And with the fight capes, there's three different styles. So there'll be melee, magic, and range all having their own capes. Downwave 61, and I like the look of this. It looks like it's like a nuclear thing. Like the theme is like nuclear. We did it. Let's fucking go. So for the Inferno, you need a Tribid Crate, which is combining all three melee range and magic cape. You go click and then click Inferno and you sacrifice the cape and you unlock the Inferno, which is just the green version. And my God, you start at wave one. Don't think I'll be showcasing it in this video, to be honest with you. All right, no more messing around. For the next two minutes, we're gonna give you all the information you need to know. So we've got the Azurite tab here that gives you the Azurite information. So serve time online, staff, players, account information. This is something you need to know, like store credit, total donated. We've got the member, the achievement rank, achievements. That's a big thing as well. Obviously, you've got your ranks, XP, playtime, points for like Slayer, trivia, useful links, game tools. This is massive. The first thing I want to show you is guides. It brings up this interface here, which is lovely. It tells you all the things you need to know. Bosses, it gives you a full-on guide. The raid, for example, gives you the overhaul. Each boss individual with the guide. Barrows, we'll show that off a little bit later, I think. 
Also, with the guide, gear, how the sacrifice system works, how achievements work, how upgrading and talismans work. The teleport menu, obviously you've got all your bosses, your mini games, globals, which don't worry boys, Mr. Incredible, Crazy Frog, Man Ray, Obliterator, Iron Man, it's all still there. The main thing that you want to be doing is achievements. There's a lot of achievements, you get rewards, it's pretty simple. You go through the list, you complete one, like mine 100 rocks at AFK. You get your progression up. There's different categories, different heart, like difficulty, and you get XP for it. I've been told that achievements is going to be a big main factor in Azerite, so make sure that you are grinding them from the very start. The final thing I want to show you at home is the room south. It has a recycler, a talisman bench, and a workbench. The workbench is where you can use to upgrade. So it's tiers, so like tier 2 for example, we can get commander boots, or we have to do sacrifice 5k slayer tokens, faith boots, 80% chance to upgrade to commander boots. So many different items to upgrade with many different requirements you have your talisman bench to upgrade your talismans there's a load of talismans in game and the recycler which you use to scrap items dupes that you don't need and there's reward shop for it forgot to mention there is a collection log which is pretty cool i might go one day to try and potentially complete the collection log all right boys this is barrows they're kind of like pyramids you have to go to every single one complete them and then the chest is in the middle Yes, it will glow a colour. If... Oh! I got an obelisk body. I must have done one before. And it alerts. That's cool. So, it does say Azurite on it each time. We're going to go in. Ooh, there's a purple glow in it. And it's a Yu-Gi-Oh card. My god, did I love Yu-Gi-Oh as a kid. Teleports you into an area. And it's got the card's face down. Oh, that's... Oh, okay, it's cool. It's cool. It... Okay, it's cool. You know, look. Okay, it's fucking sick. And it's, once you complete it, it will turn red so you know which ones you've completed. Oh, that's a W. Boink. Japan. Oh, wait. Die, my friend. Die. Let's finish this grind. Bang. Wow. We just one hit everything. And it's a blue chest, which means that's an announcement, right? Blue, glowy, blue. Boom. <gasps> oh, summon skull weapon. Oh. Oh, excuse me. Also, you can keep track of your loot in the uh, loot section of Runelight, and it told me I got a sword and two bodies. That's cool. You guys are probably going to see a load of YouTubers doing videos over the next few days ready for the release. I am personally just amazed by this server with just, like, the models. They look so good in HD and on OSRS. The Azerite set, ooh, beautiful. And yes... For everyone that's been asking, me and Diddy are going to do a series. I know, exciting times. With all that being said, I will see you boys for the release of Azrae in one week today. Or six days today now. Where I claim my victory over Diddyscape for 2024.